Hey guys, um, today, or better said, in this video, as I'm going to be doing a couple, we'll be having a look at an app that I made <coughs> called MovieDB, and it's called that because that's the name of the endpoint, basically the name of uh, the API I'm, I'm pulling off all the data from. So. Let me start up the app and walk you through all the features. So there we go, boom, come on, keep going, keep going. Oh, it takes ages. I mean, my Mac's quite slow. It's got its age, it's a grandpa. Cool, so here's how it looks. So there's some bootstrap navigation. And then I've got my carousel, so when you hover over any movie as a transform scale, uh, just uh, in CSS, uh, I'm doing everything through modules, so I'll show you that uh, when we get into the code. So you get up and up and up until you have its 20 uh, results for, for every call, so this is what you get. And then say I want to see Joker. That's my description, stats, that's the, uh, basically the original is the uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. poster path and whenever you get here, it's the, uh, on, on the movie detail, it's a backdrop path, so it's just a different picture and then you can watch a trailer, so that's an iframe going to YouTube, there you go, and you can obviously, you know, everything's allowed, stuff like that, so full screen. All that jazz. Cool. So there we go. This is the main site or the home page, sorry, uh, where you have your TV series and your movies. Then you can go to categories. So you can choose in action, adventure, animation, science fiction, documentary, whatever you need. When there's nothing there, basically no real information, I'm just pulling a not available. So there is a result coming in, but it's usually it's an empty object, so that was the best I could do. Or I could probably just check for it and just filter it. But you know, if anybody wants to build on that, uh, the whole code's on GitHub, so you more than welcome to. Cool. So that's all of that. You can obviously do a search. So say I want to search for I don't know Avengers. We go and it finds you the uh, movie results and the TV results. And that is pretty much it. Again, you can obviously click on it. There's your poster, description, all that stuff, and then trailer. Whatever you need, it's there. So I, I actually spent a lot of time just when I was developing it, just like clicking through it and looking at the new movies. Um, anyway, so that's about that. Uh, it's not huge when it comes to the UI, but the code is pretty crazy. There's a lot of Redux because uh, it calls to a lot of uh, different endpoints. And yeah, so let me disappear and I'll show you the code. Okie doke, so here we go. So here's the code. I'm actually running at the moment. Let me just quickly see if all my tests are still passing. I'll walk you through that in a minute. Yeah, I want a moment of truth. Is everything going right? Is everything going right? Please be right. If it actually ever runs. Okay. So that's all good. It's a big relief because I just changed a couple of things, but I checked the test and it seemed like all right. So just wanted to see. Okay, cool. So let's start from the beginning. So public, obviously, again, just uh, the usual. Uh, I took out all the create React app comments and stuff. Uh, I'm importing Bootstrap and Fun Awesome because it's awesome and I'm using it for some of the stuff. Um, actually, let me quickly run it as well. I can show you some stuff during the during me walking you through the code. 
and oh, not so quickly though. Actually, whilst we're here, um, come on, come on. It's like every time we need the laptop to run quickly, it just doesn't. Right, so just wanted to show you some of the animations. So like simple, simple animation for the button, spinner, uh, scale, and I think I had something else there. I'll find it. Cool, so there we go. That reminds me that every time it comes with create react app, I always forget to rename it. There we go. So index.js, since I am using, actually, let me walk you through back at JSON, because we can go for Axios for all the um, async stuff because I love it. It's just, I think, the best tool out there. Lodash, I don't think I'm actually using that. It's funny. Redux, I'm using that for all the, all the state. I'm using Thunk for all the async stuff. Um, I was using Redux form, but then it was just unnecessarily too much for what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna take it out because I don't really need it. Uh, React resize detector is a really cool feature that lets, lets you um, keep track of your screen size. And so you can actually change the state basically. If, if you change in what renders on the screen programmatically, like let's say you have a carousel like I have that has, uh, where did I put it here? So it has six entries. But if I want to go down, it has three and then it has one. But if I would do it uh, just through CSS, it wouldn't work. Because what I'm actually doing, let me show you, that is in my main body carousel, single carousel, which is like the bulkiest, uh, the bulkiest file. And here, what I'm actually doing is in my state, I've got it in Redux, but our movies per page is basically set up based on the width. So here it is. So I'm wrapping my app in uh, the uh, width resize detector. And so it is It is like an adaptive component. So you can change the width and basically changes uh, how many movies should render. And so if you sync it with your CSS, if you're using grid or, or anything else, um, then it actually renders less or more um, entries per carousel. So, which is up here. Da -da 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 -da. So, when I'm rendering it, uh, here I'm just getting the, in the local state, I'm getting the current page number and then loading just for the spinner. So, component did mount based on what endpoint am I triggering. This guy is searching whether it's a movie or a TV. And then I'm putting some arguments into the fetch movies function, which is, oh, sorry, function action, but it is a function. Um, my doc catch, I've got loading force and handle network error, which is just good and low resource. Please check your internet connection. Super simple. And then component did update. So anytime I am changing, let's say, in the genres. <clears throat> I'm changing, let's say, from documentaries to action movies. This needs to, this component needs to obviously re-render. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. So render fetch list, yeah, I'm just rendering it as a link with an image. So the whole thing is a, is a link to, based on a browser router, which I am using over here. So I am wrapping the whole app in a browser router. And then, <clears throat> Uh, when I'm going from any of the single carousel to a movie, basically in the uh, the URL changes to the movie ID. But I'm also sending the movie ID in through its own props, so that even if I would want to get here just like this, I don't have to pass it. Uh, it doesn't have to come just from the uh, uh, history props. Sorry, match match params props through the browser router. Uh, da, 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 da. And yeah, I don't want to be looking here for now. I want to be looking over here. So everything's done in modular CSS. 
Um, so apart from app CSS, but I'm not actually doing much with that. But let's say single page uh, module. Yeah. There's not actually that much CSS on this, I guess, apart from like the single carousel that has a lot. But apart from that, it's quite nice and simple. And what else did I want to show you? Categories, uh, let's see, index in actions. So that's my API key, that's the call that I'm making. Put him together the uh, address. That was fun. And then all the actions are here. Commented out what's what. Uh, commented out, just comment it to see what's what in my reducers. I am then doing. So I've got async reducers for all the calls to the API. And then I've got a couple others just as UI reducers, uh, which is basically just the movies per page, which changes based on the width. And that is about it. So it is nice and simple search form. Yeah, I, in the end, I just use the normal um, React form. And yeah, I was I was going to use the Redux form, but then there was so much set up for one input that there was just no point. So I use the uh, <clears throat> use the normal control input. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Movie detail, yeah, it's an iframe with, oh no, that's just the movie detail here, the video part is here, so it's just an iframe. So I was gonna use the React player, but in the end, there was really no point. The YouTube iframe just has everything in it, so there's no need to do anything else. Cool, I think that is about, cool. Oh, come on, all right, let's save this. And that is it, I think I can actually take this guy out. And load it, and if we break it, we can just see what's what, and then get, What do you not like? Dependencies? What? What's wrong with you? You don't need Redux form. Oh, did I accidentally pull it in somewhere? Am I trying to import it? No. Hmm. Hello, look. No, I think it's all good. Okay, so let me just quickly show you the tests and then we are done. And as per usual, you can find the code on GitHub, so that shouldn't be any problems. Yeah, there we go. So we can take that out from the modules. That's good. Cool. So npm run r run test. And if we look at the testing, I, I didn't do that many of them, um, but it's all just an enzyme. So I'm just checking for what I'm rendering. So when I change something, it actually tells me what I changed because the test won't pass. So, you know, if I change, let's say this length of seven, um, then it's gonna tell me you screwed up and I will have to fix it. At least, you know, I'll know that I screwed something up. There we go. And he doesn't like the length. There we go, so that works. But I mean, I, I did check all the tests that they're actually working and not just false positives or false negatives. Come on, dude. Okay, so that's that one. And where else did I test? I did test the carousels, again, just a simple Simple test. I had to actually put the data test on it because it didn't like the component. So that sometimes happens. And yeah, that is it. So if you have any questions, please do let me know. Otherwise, the uh, project's on GitHub. 
completely and I don't know if I've changed anything here let's see and -dum. oh the package is changed of course and then index HTML no change there Okay. Change. Actually, remove um, necessary dependencies from And then git push. There we go. Come on. There we go. It's all good. Almost. There we go. Okay. Thank you for watching. And that's it. Bye.